Now here's a nice gun for you. This is a high standard Victor. And high standard made uh, guns for a lot of years, both revolvers and automatics, but primarily automatics, and primarily uh, 22s. And they made sport guns, and they made target guns, and they made guns that were designed uh, for both. Now this one is uh, one of their uh, best, uh, the Victor is one of their best target pistols. Now this is a late model one the SH series and early high standards uh, had a barrel takedown with a lever and then later on they went to uh, having a push button takedown to remove the barrel and the SH series when they were trying to cut costs towards the end uh, of the, their production they went to uh, using a hex screw uh, takedown I suppose it uh, helped cut their cost a little bit. And anyway, uh, the high standard collectors will say that the that the SH series is lower quality, or that the quality on them were kind of spotty compared to the earlier high standards. Now this one is an excellent shooter. It's got a great trigger. All of the Victors had great triggers on them. True target guns. So I don't have any complaints about the quality as far as it functions. But as you can see that uh, the earlier ones were just uh, fantastically polished blue. And you can uh, see some marks on this one. They didn't polish this one quite as good as they did the, the earlier guns. But that doesn't affect the way it shoots any. I think this one shoots just as well as any... Uh, high standard target pistol that was ever made. Get these uh, markings to show up here. It's got a fantastic trigger on it. But uh, like I said it may not be polished quite as well as the uh, as the earlier ones. But it is a nice shooter. Nice big target sights. Easy to pick up. And here's your safety here. And the mag release is down here. And it's not loaded. And for some reason, on the high standards, they put the the slide release on the right hand side. And why they did that, I'm not sure what the idea behind that was, but uh, that is what they did anyway. <laughs> it's got fully adjustable target sights. and this out here is a removable barrel weight target pistols uh, a, a lot of times real target pistols will have barrel weights on them to add extra weight to them having a extra weight on a target gun is helpful to hold it steady thumb wrist, thrum, thumb wrist grips nice wood grips and this is uh, only the second high standard uh, pistol that I've ever owned one of the first uh, handguns that I ever bought was uh, a nickel uh, high standard uh, Sport King which was a, a sport version uh, of the high standard line and like an idiot, uh, a few years after I bought it, it, it was a great gun, but uh, I traded it off for something else. And wish I'd kept it, because uh, the nickel, uh, the Sport Kings are pretty common, but the nickel ones are kind of rare. And I sure wish I'd kept it, but I didn't. Sometime I'm going to have to 
take this out and uh, do a little shooting on camera with it. The trigger on this is just fantastic. And as you can see, it was designed to have the, the sight not move with the slide. Give you a better uh, stability on your target uh, picture. And one other thing about the Victor model, they were designed for standard velocity ammunition. And you really, uh, according to the high standard collectors, you shouldn't use high velocity ammunition in them. That over time it'll batter the slide and frame. That the recoil spring is not uh, heavy enough to really stand up to uh, a steady diet of uh, high velocity ammunition. It really was designed for target grade ammunition. But anyway, uh, I figure it uh, probably uh, ought to be, I have tried high velocity in it, but not very much. And you can feel it, uh, you can feel the slide hitting the frame when you fire high velocity ammunition in it. So the recoil spring isn't uh, soaking up all of, the, all of the backward motion of it. So I stick pretty much to standard velocity ammunition with the thing. That's what it was designed to use. And I'd sure hate to have anything happen to this gun because it sure is a great shooter. But I thought I'd uh, get it out here and do a little video with it and let you have a look at it. And I want to do uh, the end of uh, video shout out for a channel that I've been watching for a while. On a channel that's been growing quite a bit here lately and you might want to go and have a look at it. It's uh, Buckeye Sportsman's uh, channel and he's got uh, some pretty good videos up uh, and a uh, pretty good variety of different videos. I'll put a link to his channel in the uh, description of this video and if you got time you might want to go and uh, check it out. Well thanks for watching.